It's a case of using the system to the majority party's advantage. The process of assigning bills to multiple committees in the state legislature is one that Democrats have complained about for years. Cronkite News analyzed the numbers and found in this current session, almost half of Senate bills sponsored by Democrats are being doubled and sometimes triple assigned. Cronkite News reporter Angie Schuster looked at the numbers. Angie, how is this done? The Senate president is responsible for assigning bills to committee. A bill has to make it past each assigned committee before it has a chance to be heard on the floor and possibly become a law. The more committees a bill, assigned, a bill is assigned to, the less likely it is to get a full Senate vote. Some Democratic lawmakers are accusing Senate President Andy Biggs of taking advantage of the legislative process. If I want to kill a Democrat bill, I can just hold it. But I don't. I assign him to multiple committees. A review of bills and their committee assignments in the Senate shows that bills written by Democrats have been assigned to multiple committees at four times the rate of Republican bills this session. Senator Steve Farley has introduced a bill to ban texting while driving for the past nine sessions. House Bill 2370 failed to get out of committee last week and an effort to revive it as an amendment failed yesterday. This bill was originally assigned to three committees. In some cases, they may assign a bill they don't like to a committee where they know the committee chair won't hear it as a way of killing the bill. Senator John Kavanaugh has had nearly a quarter of his bills multiple assigned this session, but he doesn't see it as much of a problem. Any bill that's multiple signed like that is just very often a bill that uh, has no chance of passing if, if it got to the floor. So it might actually be uh, good to do that. This strategy used in the Senate is also being used in the House by Speaker David Gowan. Many Democratic bills and Republican bills that he doesn't agree with are not assigned to committees at all. Not being assigned to committee assures the quick death of a bill. The bigger picture says, is this a good thing for democracy? Stephanie Grisham, the House press secretary, released this statement on behalf of House Speaker David Gowan. The speaker tries to make sure that all bills in front of him are aligned with the agenda of the Republican majority. This isn't just an issue that Democrats face. Republican Senator Jeff Dial has had six of his 31 bills double assigned this session. Senator Dial is a primary sponsor on Senate Bill 1068, which calls for additional classroom time for kindergartners. He says he doesn't expect the bill, which has been assigned to four committees, including rules, to pass. It does take a lot of work to move them through the process. As for the large number of Democratic bills that are multiple assigned, Senator Biggs says it's just a happenstance. There's no set idea, oh, this is a Democrat bill, let's do that. Many of the Democratic senators and representatives I spoke with told me that the only way for their bills to pass without being assigned to multiple committees is to try again next year, with a Republican primary sponsor instead. Live in the Broadcast Center, Angie Schuster, Cronkite News.